Good morning, Leland. Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Sorry, I made a mistake yesterday thinking that it was Wednesday yesterday. It was Thursday. Handful of you caught that. I do make mistakes quite frequently, um, but that's all right. So today is Friday, um, April 3rd. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, let's start today off with our pledge. Today's pledge is led by third grader Delilah Zitt and her wonderful little sisters. So we will hand the screen over to her here as she leads us through the pledge. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and the visible with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Fantastic job with that pledge this morning. Um, okay, a couple of announcements. I don't have too very much for everybody today. Um, thank you yesterday to everybody that submitted their um their blue shirts for autism awareness also the people that dressed up as their superheroes we had a lot of posts out and about on that so thank you very much for participating with that and then also thank you for um participating along with our art challenge um and that was introduced by kathy brown yesterday that had the watermelon project for you so um thank you kathy for leading us through that and then thank you to everybody that that sent some some videos in. Um, those were pretty awesome. Uh, today, uh, today is, yes, Friday, April 3rd again. Um, it is our school uniform day. So if you've got some school uh, Panther gear on, we'd love to see some pictures of you in your Panther gear. Um, also, today is Library Appreciation Day. So um, I got a reading challenge for everybody. And then also my guest this morning that's gonna go along with my reading challenge is our librarian and media specialist, Miss Kelsey Stegman. And Kelsey is going to start this morning off by, by sharing a lovely book with everybody today. So um, she's got a short book that she's gonna read to everybody and then I will introduce our challenge for today. Hello all my Leland friends. I've definitely been missing some of our read alouds that we have in the library. So today I'm gonna read the book called Clark the Shark written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. In all the wide blue seas and all the wide blue world, the top school for fish was Theodore Rooster Fish Elementary. And all of the fish at Re Theodore Rooster Fish, the biggest and strongest was Clark the shark. Clark loved school and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inkydink. -Ink. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark the shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Miss Inkydink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the shark. Munch your own lunch, said his friend Joey Mackerel. Recess racks, bellowed Clark the shark. You're playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life with all his sharky heart, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him in a circle time. Even his best friend, Joey Mackerel, said, cool your jets, Clark, you're making me crazy. One day, Clark asked Miss Inkydink, what's wrong with everyone? Miss Inkydink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard and you munch too hard and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Miss Inkydink. Sometimes the rule is stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushes a swing too hard with too much zing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, said Joy Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. 
in class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Miss Inkling, this isn't time or the place. Tell me what's the rule. Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then Clark got a big idea with a sharp head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked. Attaboy, Clark, said Miss Dinky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark gr grinned. Lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it. It's, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then in the shadow fell across the playground, a ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives. The squid squashed the slide, it snapped out the strings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all of his might. Clark played harder than he had ever before. Upsy downsy spin with jig. Why, he even made a new game. Tail Wampa Wampus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly, and he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Miss Inky Dink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark. Everyone cheered. That night, Clark's mother asked, what did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you stay cool. But sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. Thanks for joining me for Clark the Shark. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Miss Stegman. And with it being Librarian Appreciation Day, thank you for all the work that you do. It's, it's interesting how the, the role of a librarian has definitely changed in a small school over the last handful of years. And, and we appreciate all that you do as far as introducing our students to new books, as well as the work um, with technology with, uh, with our students. So thank you very much, Ms. Stegman. Okay, so our challenge for today is, let me stop sharing my screen here. Okay, so our challenge for today is to do exactly what Ms. Stegman did. It is find somebody, something, I don't care if it's you go read to a tree, it's supposed to be nice out, go sit by a tree, read out loud to somebody or something, and then if you could, you know, even if it's just take a picture of yourself, if you videotape the whole thing, that's awesome. And then you can share it and then everybody can watch your, watch your, or listen to your story. Um, I know that's kind of a, a, a popular thing right now with uh, the shelter in place around the United States. A lot of like celebrities are reading books and uh, for kids to read. So, so why don't you share your wonderful reading with, with um, the Leland community? That would be so awesome. But if you don't videotape the whole thing, I totally get it. Um, but if you um, take a picture of you reading in your Leland gear, that's a perfect, um, perfect uh, tagging worthy picture for us um, uh, this week. So uh, read a book out loud to somebody or something is, is our challenge for today. Okay, a uh, couple other announcements. Um, Today, national, another national day is Find a Rainbow Day. So find a rainbow. That's a, maybe a good thing, even if you don't really see a rainbow in the sky. Maybe you'll find something that makes you think of a rainbow. Um, national Find a Rainbow Day. Um, reminder, um, e-learning. Um, a lot of middle school and high school students particularly, make sure you are touching base with your teachers. Even if you've like seen the assignments and you've just, you're working on them, but you haven't really communicated with your teachers yet, please say, hey, I got it. I'm working on it. I'll get it to you. 
Um, don't just ignore them, okay? Because I know they're working hard to make connections with you. And if you're not reaching out back, then I'm going to go knock on your door at your house. So please reach back to your teachers. Check your emails. Um, high school students, juniors particularly, um, the SAT was scheduled to be right around the corner, okay? Now, with that being scheduled during a shelter in place, obviously, you're not going to come in and do the SAT right now. Um, so, uh, the National Board who uh, puts together, and, the, and Pearson that puts together the test and the state of Illinois um, are kind of working on what they're going to do with the SAT. Um, most likely, they're going to push back um, some testing dates and sites into the summer. Um, I'm going to look into what it needs, what we need to do to be a testing site at Leland during the summer. Um, and so that SAT score obviously is very important for your college um, in the future years. So we want to make sure we do whatever we can to make sure you, you take that test. So um, obviously you're not going to take it in a couple of weeks. Um, and the latest I've heard is that they're looking at possibly pushing some testing dates back more into the summer. So we will keep you updated on that. Don't stress about it, but also still be preparing for that test. I know it's a big one. Um, Okay, got that. Um, it looks like I got a couple of birthdays out there today. Happy birthday, first off, um, to sixth grader Aiden Hensley. I hope you have a fantastic day. Also to freshman Ian Cameron. Happy birthday, boys. Have a great day. Um, and then this weekend, I've got a couple more birthdays out there. Happy birthday tomorrow to second grader Blake Wesson. And happy birthday Sunday to third grader Charlie Anderson. Happy birthday, boys. I hope you enjoy, um, enjoy your day as much as possible. And then I think those are all of my announcements for today. Um, Reminder to kind of send in your pictures. We love, we love seeing and hearing from you guys, so send them in. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Hope everybody has a great Friday. Stay healthy out there. And remember that excellence has no finish line.